Let's say it's your worst horror movie fear come true. Maybe you're at the gas station, you're pumping gas, you get out, your cars are unlocked, your, all your doors are unlocked, you're not paying attention to your surroundings. You get back in your vehicle and somebody has snuck into your car because you left your doors unlocked and they put a knife to your throat. So they're in the back seat, you're in the front seat, you've got a knife to your throat, what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right, so what do you do in this situation? Obviously a horrible situation, you're at a disadvantage. A lot of people say, well, just get out of the car. Well, guess what? If you get out of the car, he could slit your throat. What you've gotta do is control this weapon and we're gonna do it. I'm gonna have him hold hard. Ashton is a fitness buff. He's a lot stronger than I am. So you're gonna see the real life fight that occurs if you end up in this situation. So we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna go live. He does not know what I'm gonna do. I know what he's gonna do, but it ain't gonna be pretty, but you will see me survive. Whoa, 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 okay. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. As I huff and puff, let's talk about that. My goal there is to control the weapon. That's the most important thing in the world. I'm gonna pull it tight to my chest. That way he can't slip my throat, he can't do anything. So my two hands are holding this weapon. Then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spin around and break his grip. It does not happen fast and it's not easy. But the whole time I'm doing that, I control the weapon as I'm spinning around. Eventually, I was able to get one hand on his wrist on the weapon. Well, I would in real life, I'd be doing strikes with my other hand. I'd be headbutting, I'd be kicking. I'd be doing all that kind of stuff. But the most important thing is to control that weapon, one hand, two hands, whatever, and then when he eventually dropped it from bending his wrist the way I was doing it, then I can flee my vehicle. Now obviously in real life, have good situational awareness, and in real life, if you carry a gun like I do, find yourself here disarm, and then you can stand up and draw, and you're gonna have the gun on him, and have somebody call 911, et cetera, et cetera. But, it is a fight for your life, and that was a good simulation to see how it's actually gonna go.